महा कार्टून टीवी Now further, scared and anxious, Shikha somehow managed to run out of the room. The entire bungalow was filled up with Shikha's scream. Save me, someone! Kept running in order to save herself from the spirit. Pranav's spirit had taken a form of black smoke and kept following Shikha everywhere. Listening to Shikha scream so much, Sunita frantically came out from the kitchen. and seeing shikha run rampantly sunita ran towards shikha uh, what happened ma'am but what happened why are you running like that on asking about what happened shikha told everything about pranav to sunita to which she replied are you himani Listening to what Sunita said, Shikha got shocked. Everyone around that bungalow, including Sunita, knew about that spirit waiting for his love. But still, Sunita was taking care of that bungalow. And just then, all the lights in the bungalow started to flicker. Seeing this, Sunita advised Shikha to run away from there. There was an unusual and strange rustle of air all around the bungalow. As Shikha ran towards the main door, It rampantly got closed on its own. The only way to move out of that haunted bungalow was now closed. And as Sunita saw all this happening with Shikha, she tried to help her. But an anonymous power held her back. No matter how hard she tried to move ahead, she couldn't. Sunita, what's happening with you? Why aren't you able to move? The devil energy is holding me so that i can't help you and and that psycho succeed in his evil plan and in just a few seconds sunita was flying in the air ah! what what is happening with you who's doing it don't you worry about me you just carefully listen to what i'm going to say you save yourself your life is more precious run away from here or else this psycho won't leave you alive but how sunita started to fly here and there in the air ah, 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 ah! how should i save myself from the psycho <laughs> this psycho can't even touch me till i have ah, ah, ah! yes go ahead after i die please look at me meticulously you'll get it after you die but he can't even touch you right now he can sunita 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 shikha was now completely alone in that bungalow and all that she was left with was fearful silence and because of fear she wasn't able to comprehend anything that was going on around her just when a shadow started to revolve all around her <laughs> shikha my sweet heart now what will happen with you ha huh? <laughs> Please let me go. I haven't done anything wrong to you. You are going to stay here now with me forever, forever. Shikha got badly stuck in the trap that was laid by the ghost. She wasn't able to find any escape to the situation she was in, 
and in her vulnerability she sat near Sunita's corpse and bursted into tears. I don't know how will I survive here. That psycho would kill me too. Sunita, you left me alone here to die. How would I be able to protect myself? <laughs> Wait a minute. You were saying something after you die, but he can't even touch you, right? Why did you ask me to see your corpse? What is it that you were pointing at? I don't get it. As she remembered, she started to look at her meticulously. Sunita, what were you trying to say? I just can't see anything. Neither I am able to comprehend of what you said. Amid this frantic situation, Shikha's eye fell on a tooth that was knotted in Sunita's sari, which appeared to look like an elephant's tooth. Shikha didn't understand everything, but certainly she understood something. Probably this is why that psycho spirit wasn't able to do anything to Sunita. And when she saw that my life was in danger, she gave up her only protective charm against that psycho for me. <laughs> Sunita, thanks a lot for doing this. I won't let your sacrifice go into vain. <laughs> now I have to save myself to do justice to Sunita's sacrifice. Fearing that amulet made with the tooth, Shikha took an oath to fight for her life. Shikha investigated that bungalow for some time. And during her investigation, she came across a red door. Which had a lock hanging outside. She was curious to find out what was behind that door. She started to break the lock. And as she opened the gate, her eyes were left wide open. She was trembling with fear. The room was filled with hanging dead bodies. One thing was now vivid, that all those people were sacrificed. And to understand it further, Shikha went inside the room and started to look for something that would help her find an escape. Just some time into the investigation, she found a book that had some instructions on how to perform black magic, which taught as to how a spirit can obtain more dark powers from time to time. And on reading it further, Shikha thought to herself, If any of these instructions are not followed, or any of the sacrifices are not done according to the procedures, then there are chances that I can destroy that cycle. Just when Shikha saw a run of spirit, her heart skipped a beat. <laughs> so someone tried to investigate me. <laughs> Go ahead, do whatever you want. You, you still won't be able to do anything to me. That psycho started to move towards Shikha. He wanted to control Shikha's body, but as he tried to touch her... Oh, oh, that means you have figured out about this amulet. Oh, this, this you didn't do, good Shikha. No, now you just wait and watch. Your death is confirmed. Shikha, who was already filled with fear, continued with her investigation. After trying everything, she finally found a locked box. Along with the box, she found a letter, which had something written over it. Amulet is the key to this lock. And without wasting even a second, Shikha unlocked that mystery box with her amulet, which had a sparkling knife in it. But before she could pick it up... This means you won't understand like this. Now you just wait and watch what I'm gonna do to you. Shikha started to run with the box in her hand, but the ghost flipped her in the air 
because of which box fell on the ground and the ghost was trying to take control of Shikha's body once again. Shikha was screaming because of excruciating pain. Shikha had removed her amulet in order to open the box. So now she had nothing that could save her. And because of this, it became even more easy for the ghost to control her. Shikha was screaming really loud. Shikha was suffering the pain and that psycho was torturing her. The pain was so excruciating that she couldn't bear it and fainted. Seeing Shikha lose her conscious, that psycho dropped her on the floor and started preparations to sacrifice her. Hey, I'll possess your soul. After, I sacrifice you. And then, and then, you will be mine forever. Hey, hey. <laughs> And on the other hand, Shikha, who was acting to be unconscious in front of the ghost, started to swiftly move towards the sparkling knife. But seeing deadly sight of the corpse hanging and blood all around her, it made her nauseous. She somehow managed to take hold of the knife. But as Pranav saw her, he pulled her towards him. Pranav's devil spirit sat on Shikha just when she stabbed him in his chest. But... <laughs> Shikha wasn't able to comprehend anything and Pranav on the other hand started to give Shikha even more pain for causing pain to him. He started to stab Shikha with his sharp long nails. This excruciating pain was unbearable for Shikha. The knife that she was holding got slipped from her hand and fell in the fire. On seeing this, that psycho started to scream real bad. Shikha! Shikha! No! As the knife was melting the fire, that soggy body of that psycho Pranav started to burn. That psycho was screaming like mad in the entire room. But he wasn't And with him getting burned, all the alive corpse started to burn as well. All of them were turned into ashes. It was quite clear now that Pranav's life was kept safe in that knife. And as that psycho died, even Shikha got freed from his trap. She had no idea that the soggy body she had been seeing in her dreams would turn out to be real one day. And the context attached to it would be so terrifying. But now, she wouldn't have to combat any of such dreams. If you enjoyed this video, do like, share and comment. And to be the first person to watch our videos, make sure to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for timely notifications.